Howdy out there. How's everybody doing today? It's me, Elric Ferris, your host. Welcome back once again to the Motherboards.org YouTube channel. Well, a few days ago, we bring you an unboxing of the new Asus HD6950 Direct CU2 2 2GB card. Today, we're going to bring you the full review of that card. Now, what really separates Asus away from the competition is the way they've totally redesigned this card for superior cooling, superior overclocking, and for you to just get overall great performance and longer life with the card. So let's just jump right in, take a look at the features, take a look at the performance, and like usual, at the end of the day, see whether this card is worth your money at the end user at the end of the day. All right, so let's jump right into the card. Right off the bat, we're gonna see the card is very big. It's 11 and a half inches for those people here in America or 29, 2.2 centimeters for those folks outside of America. Now, we can see right off the bat, the thing is completely differently redesigned. Right off the bat, we see there are two fans and we have the Direct CU2. Now, what is Direct CU2? Direct CU2 means that the copper itself is being placed directly on the GPU, allowing for maximum heat dissipation. There's no pad or anything else disrupting the contact between the two. This allows for superior cooling. There are also two major cooling blocks underneath here and copper pipes running through that to do superior cooling. The card also has all the standard things you get with any HD6950. It's got 1,408 stream processors. It actually is overclocked out of the box at 810 megahertz for the core clock and features 5.0 gigabits of total effective memory bandwidth. That's pretty good. This card actually is pretty fast. Now, we're gonna flip the card around. You can see it's actually very thick in size. This thing's only gonna fit in certain motherboards due to its size. This may be a drawback. Now, ASUS also has their super alloy power. This features 35% cooler, 50% better performance, and a 2.5 extended lifespan. That's actually pretty good features. I'm gonna flip the card around again, show you the back right here. We have a single six pin 75 watt power connector and a single 150 watt power connector. You combine these along with the 75 watts that's taken from this and that's your total combined PDP. Flip the card around again. We're gonna take a look at the rear IO. Rear IO is really nice on this card. This card features six monitor iFinity support right out of the box. We have four of your display ports right here. These are the standard display ports, not your mini. And then we have two DVI ports. It also features AMD's HD3D as well as iFinity technology. So this is the card. I'll flip it around. You see the front, let you see the back. Those are all the generic features. Now let's jump in and see how fast this card is against the competition. First, let's look at the positive things about the card. The positive things are A, its superior cooling design and all of its super alloy features, which allow the card to have a longer life, run cooler, and to actually have better performance. These are all really good things about the card. And the fact that you can do six monitor affinity off a single card is also really good stuff. Now, what are some of the negatives about this card? This card is very, very large. It's one of the actual biggest cards I've seen. And for a lot of people, this card just may not fit in your system whatsoever. This could be a drawback. 
So if you have a small system and you don't have it, something that's wide enough to accept this card, that could be a drawback. So basically, all the positive things are the great features, and the negatives about the card are maybe a little bit of a price and the size. But if you're a fan of AMD cards and you're looking for something that's different than the standard HD6950, this new DirectCU2 card from Asus is a solid winner and an editor's choice here at motherboards.org.